in this video we are concerned with the classification of polymer on the basis of source and on the basis of structure now see here on the basis of source there are total three polymers one is the natural polymer another one is the semi synthetic polymer another one is the synthetic polymer we will see one by one and step by step it is very simple now see here the important point from this classification is that we must remember the examples of natural polymer examples of semi synthetic polymer examples of synthetic polymer now see here what is the meaning of natural polymer the polymers which are obtained either from plant or animals directly these polymers are considered as the natural polymer ashe polymer ki je apan kasha pasun milvto direct plant pasun milvto kiwa direct animal pasun milvto tanna apan kay manto natural polymer ase manto ani je polymer aplyala plant pasun miltat tanna apan plant polymer manto je polymer aplyala animal pasun miltat tanna apan animal polymer ase manto there are the examples linen wool silk jute cellulose these are the examples of natural polymer aplyala maithe silk je ahe te silk wor pasun aplyala milte wool je ahe te mendan pasun aplyala milte jute je ahe te tak pasun aplyala milte manje he je kay ahe ki kahi plant pasun milte kahi aplyala animal pasun milte now turn towards the next point the next point is the semi synthetic polymer now what is the meaning of semi synthetic polymer tar pa semi synthetic polymer je ahe te apan kasha pasun tayar karto natural polymer pasun tayar karto how we can form the semi synthetic polymer by applying the some chemical reactions on the natural polymer to change their some properties which are then the properties like tensile strength their appearance their luster म्हणजे वेगवेगळी त्यांची चकाकी असू दे किंवा त्यांचं स्ट्रेंथ असू दे हे सगळं वाढवण्यासाठी नॅचरल पॉलिमर वरती आपण ज्यावेळी केमिकलची रिएक्शन करून पॉलिमर जे तयार करतो त्यांना आपण काय म्हणतो सेमी सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर असं म्हणतो दॅट मीन द सेमी सिंथेटिक पॉलिमर आर डिफाइंड एज द पॉलिमर्स व्हिच आर मेड अप बाय फ्रॉम द नॅचरल पॉलिमर बाय अप्लाइंग द सम केमिकल रिएक्शन ऑन इट टू एनहान्स इट the some properties of natural polymers like tensile strength appearance luster etc these polymers are considered as the semi synthetic polymer natural polymer varti kahi chemical chemical cha vapor karun chemical reaction karun tancha properties appearance tancha tensile strength luster vadun je polymer apan tayar karto tanna apan kay manto semi synthetic polymer asa manto teche example jar apan bagitle tar tya pa acetate rayon is example hai viscous rayon is example hai and cupra ammonium silk these are the various types of examples of this semi synthetic polymer and the last one the synthetic polymer so what is the meaning of synthetic polymer synthetic manje tumhala maithe hai ki purna pane man made the polymers which are purely man made and they are produced in a laboratory by using chemicals the polymers which are completely man made which are produced in laboratory by using chemicals these polymers are considered as the synthetic polymer for example nylon terrene polythene pvc etc etc ada apnala maithe pvc pipe kay tumhala jhadala kutlela aale disnar nahi tar apan te tayar hot karto company madhe te industry madhe tayar karto ani he je kay ahe ki je purely kashe ahe man made ahe tanna apan kay manto synthetic polymer asa manto now this is all this part of the on the basis of source natural polymer semi synthetic polymer and synthetic polymer a very simple part is there we must remember the examples of natural polymer semi synthetic polymer and synthetic polymer question acha varti vicharla jato which of the following is an example of semi synthetic polymer or which of the following is an example of natural or synthetic polymer okay now turn towards the next point the next point is the classification based on structure the classification based on structure now see here there are total three types of polymer on the basis of structure one is the linear another one is the branched polymer and another one is the cross linked or network polymer we will see one by one and step by step on the basis of structure there are total three parts of polymer one is the linear branched polymer or नेटवर्क और क्रॉस लिंक द पॉलीमर वी विल सी वन बाय वन एंड स्टेप बाय स्टेप सी एन एज नाव मध्ये सगळं स्ट्रक्चर आपल्याला दिसून येतंय तर पा लीनियर लीनियर असा अर्थ काय होतो की एक सारखं एक संघ की त्याला ब्रांचिंग असता कामो नये दैट मींस 
the linear polymers are made up of long continuous chains without any excess attachment or branches or alkali group yacha ardha kay hoto pa for example apan jar polythene cha structure baghitla tar polythene cha structure kasa hoto pa ch2 double bond ch ch3 ani te apan shift kele nantar apala kay milto hoto ch2 ch ch3 tya madhe jo ch3 group hota ch3 jo group hota to kasa hota branch hota manje ya tikani kay hoto pa इन केस ऑफ पॉलीथीन आपण जर या ठिकाणी बघितलं पॉलीथीनचं एग्जांपल जर बघितलं तर CH2 डबल बॉन्ड CH2 ते आपल्याला एग्जांपल बघायला मिळतं म्हणजे हा बॉन्ड जस्ट आपण काय करतो शिफ्ट करतोय या मेन चेनला कुठलीही ब्रांच न त्या ठिकाणी किंवा ब्रांचेस त्याला अटॅच नाही याचा अर्थ काय होतो बघा द लेयर पॉलीमर्स आर मेड अप ऑफ लॉन्ग कंटिन्यूअस चेन विदाउट एनी एक्सेस अटॅचमेंट ऑर ब्रांचेस ऑर अल्काइल ग्रुप इन दैट केस रिपीटिंग यूनिट्स आर जॉइंड टू फॉर्म अ लॉन्ग कंटिन्यूअस चेन in case of linear polymer repeating units are joined to form a long continuous chain for example polythene pvc teflon etc etc these are the examples of linear polymer now what is the meaning of branched polymer see here suppose we consider here the example of polypropylene tar apan polypropylene cha example jar baghitla tar apan ya dikani dusri jata pa ch2 ch ani ya dikani ch3 now this ch3 group is acts as a branch to the main chain that means branched polymer is defined as this polymer consists of a chain structure having one main chain of a molecule with a smaller chains as a branches of main chain and these polymers are it is very important branched polymers are low density polymers now see here in case of polypropylene this methyl group is branched to this main structure ya tikane apan the ritho bagitla tar he main structure hote ki yala kutre further branching hote parantu in that case the methyl group is acts as a small branches to the main chain this is called as the branched polymer now turn towards the next point the next point is network or cross linked polymer it is very important Now see here what is the meaning of network or cross-linked polymer? The polymer which having the linking of chain by strong covalent bonds leads to the network-like structure, or it is also called as the cross-linked structure due to the cross-linking. For example, अपन example बोली ले रहा है urea formaldehyde polymer आसुदेत, bakelite आसुदेत, vulcanized rubber आसुदेत. These are the various types of example of network or cross-linked polymer. When the jar polymer made, upon kai karto ei cross-linking karto ei. Kuma jar polymer made, apne la network like structure bagara milte ho. Tanna apun mato network or cross-linked polymer. These are the various types of examples based on structure. Linear, when the external chain asna rahe, long long continuous chain asna rahe, kitala branching asna rahe. ब्रांच के मंजे एक मेन चेन असेल की त्याला स्मॉलर ग्रुप जे असते स्मॉलर अल्काइल ग्रुप एक्स एज अ ब्रांचेस एंड इन दैट केस देयर इज अ नेटवर्क और क्रॉस लिंकिंग स्ट्रक्चर इज देयर द एग्जांपल्स ऑफ नेटवर्क और क्रॉस लिंकड पॉलीमर्स आर द वल्कनाइज्ड रबर बैकेलाइट यूरिया फॉर्मालडेहाइड पॉलीमर मेलामाइन फॉर्मालडेहाइड पॉलीमर एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पॉलीमर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सोर्स एंड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर